Good morning, good morning, Dr. Gary here. We are dental practice brokers. The name of our company is Healthcare Practice Sales. We're dental practice brokers nationwide. Today's topic is out of the ordinary a little bit. It is beware of crime at or near the dental office. Recent experiences. So we now have 22 states that we represented in, and we have nine employees. We're very excited, leaving for New Mexico next week. Let's hope it's a great week. We have four or five offices to see between uh, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Taos, that region. Uh, kind of really excited about it for it. Then we um, are now available to you from 7.30 in the morning, East Coast time, till 9.30 at night. Please give us a call. We're working every single day except Christmas and Easter, so you can reach us. If you want advice, just have a chat, buy or sell or call us. Our contact number is 201-663-0935. And our website is dentalpracticeguide.com. We now have over 160 recent in the last month podcast downloads. We have over 1,500, I think we're at 1,600 views for our um, YouTubes, and we've done over 100 YouTube videos. So we're here to get to the information. All the information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. If you're a seller and you're thinking about selling to the DSO, please call us. We know who they all are. They will pay our commission. And often, depending on certain circumstances, we can get your legal fees reimbursed at closing, depending on criteria. So call us on that. So anyway, crime is a little out of the ordinary, but crime at the dental office are nearby. Um, being the certain policies of certain states, um, they've gotten loose on crime or they're letting criminals out the next day with hardly any bail at all or no bail. Um, this is a problem and the crime is on the rise. As far as more petty crime, it's or grand larceny, it's the cars. What they're doing with the cars, this has happened with friends I know, dentists, and at their dental office. The thieves, and especially if you have a newer car, the thieves are getting the transmission from your key fob. And they can do this now up to 100 feet. They get a transmitter. They get the signal from your key fob inside your building. Transmit it to your car with a transponder that boosts the signal. <coughs> and they have a device that can start your car. Because essentially, they have a remote device of your key fob that's in your office. Now, a way to simply prevent this is you buy a Faraday bag. It's on you. Uh, it's on uh, uh, what do you call it? It's on Amazon. You put the key fob in aluminum foil. You put the key fob in a tin box or a metal box inside your office. It will prevent it from happening. But they're doing it. They're bracing these criminals. One guy, uh, Dennis, got his uh, car stolen from his backyard middle of the day, four o'clock. They don't care. The criminals because they're going to get released the next day i guess that will change someday soon hopefully but they'll get released the next day they'll steal your car they get the transponder get your signal and they'll steal your car do you want to go through that aggravation i don't think so and also for your staff you don't want your staff's car getting stolen so you just tell them you get them all these little key fobs go on amazon maybe 10 12 14 18 20 dollars they slip it in there and it prevents the signal from the key fob from coming out. They gotta take it out of the uh, key fob uh, when they start the car, but then you can put it back in again. Now, the criminals, even at supermarkets, see you coming out. And if you have a nice car, they'll grab the signal as you're walking, going shopping. They just steal your signal remotely as you walk by with the transponder, go to your car, steal your car. That's pretty much what's happening. And you know, do something nice for your staff and uh, get them a little treat, 15, 18 bucks, to get them a treat. They'll think, they'll know you care about them and uh, they will appreciate it. It's a small token. Hopefully you can keep staff. One of the ways to keep staff, by the way, is not just monetary. One of the things is appreciation. Show them you appreciate them, show them you care. Uh, they remember that. 
because it's one of the top things they care about from an employer besides money. Money's important, certainly. But, you know, if you're not kind to them and professional and so forth, money may not matter. They'll go to another job. But crime in the dental office does happen. Secondly, brazen criminals. You know, train your staff. Just give the money away and run away. Have something at the front desk. Just give the money. Throw the money, they say. And just run into the back or bathroom. Lock yourself in or do something. Have some kind of plan because this will happen someday. We, you know, we have so many clients now. We wanted to share this because we've done well over 150 sales. And, uh, you know... We stay in contact with our clients. We have like 472 email blasts. So we're trying to help you know communicate with them also. Uh, but the crime is real. Have some of those mace sprays up front if you get into an assault situation. Um, also, you can have those large, super large flashlights that are like 22 inches long. Brinkman, I think, is the name. And you could use that as a weapon if you have an assault situation. But if somebody's trying to break into your or their steal, uh, just give them whatever money you have and walk away. Unfortunately, that's the way you have to be nowadays. If there's an assault situation, uh, speak to your local police enforcement agencies. What should you do? Maybe they may recommend some of those mace sprays uh, to at least protect momentarily. Uh, or that's something nice to give to your staff, show them that you care. All right, these are just some quick tips. Uh, again, this is out of the ordinary. This is, uh, we do sell dental practices around the country now, but we also care about our clients and we wanted to share that. Uh, remember, if you're selling to a large DSO or thinking about it, uh, we can help you because we know we can pick and choose the best ones. We have direct pipelines to all the TSOs and all of their corporate executives and their vice presidents, presidents, CEO. We can call them direct and speak to them, uh, especially if you have a situ special situation. Um, and we know, so we're able to choose which we think is the best DSOs. We get the same commission. They pay our commission. And often, based on criteria, we can get your legal fees reimbursed at closing. So call us. We're here to help you. But today's message is we want you and your staff protected. There's a crime wave out there. And uh, we don't want to get political, but we just want to tell you experiences that we're seeing from our clients nationwide. We want you as our clients protected uh, and protect your possessions that you have. All right. Thank you. Bye.